What is going on guys? My name is Ron back again from Roman Reviews here with another reaction to Boku Ben We Never Learn. This is going to be episode 9 of the second season. This is going to be the first part of Fumino's character arc. Her very special one. And this is a very good uh, character arc, as I have said before. It actually solidified her as top 3. <laughs> And I know a lot, there's a lot of Fumino fans. I, I I realize, I recognize that you exist. It's just, I'm sorry, She no one holds a candle to Sensei. And Senpai. I like girls with twos, don't judge me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm ready to see this. This is the star of Ultimate Love and the name of X Part 1. So without further ado, let us jump in. To episode 9 of season 2 of Boku Ben Sarn in 3, 2... One, let's jam. Also, I do apologize for the jacket. It's very cold in my room. Third best girl. Fight me. I, do, I don't really remember how this starts off, though. Oh, you know what? Nope, I do. I do. I remember this. PTCs. See, it was different. We actually called it something else in um, in school. It was called RPCs, required teacher, uh, required parent conference, or something. I think it was like that, or so. I think that was RPCs, not PTCs, where it was a parent teacher conference. So that actually it makes more sense. But RPC. They I always had a really negative connotation, like, oh, you're getting RPC, and I'm like, no. Man, I, I just... <laughs> it, like, I know this, is, this has nothing to do with this show, but I actually, back when I was, um, when I was still a little kid, um, still a kid, I guess, I'm only, I'm 24, but well, when I was younger, back in elementary school, I was a very bad kid, and I actually used to get RPC'd up the ass. In fact, I think I had over 15 in one year. <laughs> I was a bad kid. And man, they beat the shit out of me. <laughs> so yeah, it was a, it was a fun, fun times. Very fun times. I do miss school because I don't have to do with the connotations and just the uh responsibilities of being an adult. I guess you could say. But yeah, I am ready to watch this episode. <laughs> Stop flirting in front of me. The VIP, yep, the VIP. Oh shit, that's right. It has, hadn't told the parents. Teacher. You're not really good at hiding those things, huh? <laughs> it is true, though. I do like they don't show the mother much at all. In fact, the family, even the the doting sister. <laughs> oh, youth. <laughs> I 
I didn't realize that, like, Fumino is actually relatively tall, well, in terms of, like, stature. <laughs> Freaking... She said it as a... Uh, it was at this moment that she realized it was a really big problem and said. Sicky Joe. Best side character. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If you guys don't remember, that is the one, the professor. Yep. Hence why I was like, I know that person. <laughs> Where are you at, Fumino? Where are you at, Fumino? <laughs> Seek photography. Yep. <laughs> they uh, no. You know, that's exactly how I kind of pictured her father's voice to have like that rough gra almost a gra rough voice. <laughs> Is that a JoJo reference? That's a JoJo reference. Re <laughs> I'm sorry, everything that I can't if I can make a JoJo reference about anything, I will make a JoJo reference. Why? Cause it's JoJo. There is a reason to why he's like this. Don't hate him too much. But I was the same way. I was like, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Very matter of factly. He is calm. <laughs> Chad Yuki strikes again and he doesn't even realize it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Just a, just a little bit. Oh, Seki Joe. So good. You know, I was just about to I was just about to say, we need Go to jail. Can we can we get an F in the chat for Nariyuki? <laughs> oh Sorry. Chad Yuki's heart only belongs to one girl. And it rhymes with sensei. <laughs> Jesus. I do wish we got a lot more interaction with this sister, because I feel like she would be a, such a good character. I don't think we've legitimately had... I don't think we've legitimately had a straight-up chapter where the focus was on really anyone in the family. I could be wrong, though. Maybe it was a bonus chapter, but yeah. You know, I was just about to say, bath. <laughs> I slept over by the, the boy's, the boy you love's house, and I took a bath. <laughs> so she's illegal. She's totally a bro con. It just uh, they don't really expend on anything. I don't know. Wait, last few chapters. Last few chapters might have you uh Saying something else a little bit, Fumino. Nope. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just in instinctly
<laughs> this is okay this is definitely like the first part of this is relatively cute i mean it's not i don't okay so i I've, i'm trying to figure out where they're going to end this episode being a burden oh <laughs> Almost feeling like a burden. <laughs> Millennium Prize Problems. I don't know what that is. But remember, math is also, um, math is also, I think, the only school um, curriculum that can be used in almost practically any, every single uh, language, because it's, numbers are not, like, are not tied down to languages. That that actually made me upset when I read that. I I remember reading that I was like I was on my phone I was like you bastard. This is also I would say the first time it actually got into a heavy into a heavy um situation. <laughs> that poor house those tan lines though those freaking tan lines Or you just washed it. Is that something that's common? <laughs> By the way, I, I don't think any girls are watching. <laughs> what is that a natural thing? It's the smell of your lover. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe Fumino's fucking dead. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe Nariki is fucking dead. <laughs> but wait. Here comes the next challenger. I thought I was going to time that better. <laughs> There's a reason. The daddy <laughs> from the east. <laughs> no, that's a um, it's a, that's a uh, Kaguya reference. He's super game. <laughs>
Saved by the phone. I was about to say bell, but it didn't work. Huh? In more ways than one. I forgot that's where it was. Fun in the... No. I'll tell you about that later, sorry. I was about to say something that would have spoiled this. So, wait. That also is weird, but you could easily, you could easily, um, extract that data with other programs. Pretty, pr pretty sure. <laughs> so this is where they're going to end the episode. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So that's what I was about to say, like, the whole, um, about the whole locking thing. There is plenty of data things and, uh, cracking codes that you could easily use to unlock that. Don't ask me how I know that, but there's plenty. You just need to look it up. And know people. And pay people off. Yeah, anyways, um, yeah, this was definitely a fun episode, and I, like I said, I thoroughly enjoy this show. I know it's not really popular for a lot of people, um, I mean, honestly, the only time, only time people are gonna be watching this is if you've already seen the first season and are keeping up, so, but even though, like, I don't get that many views on these videos, um, and again, I, I've never done it for the views, never has meant much. But I know a lot of people kind of like, like, kind of drop the show. I don't know if it's like, like dropping in a sense, but like they just have done their own thing. And I've thoroughly enjoyed just everything about this show. And I, I've been loving it, basically. Because it does a fairly good, re um, fairly good, um, retelling, I guess. <sighs> Sorry. Psst. Long day. Um, it does a fairly good retelling of all this, so that's definitely a good thing. Um, and yeah. Alright, let's see. Okay. Fairly simple. Um, oh, I don't really remember this scene. Don't really remember this scene. Also, we're going to be getting a new chapter of Boku Ben. Relatively soon. In fact, let me see if it's been updated yet. Normally it would say, so let's go to Reddit Manga. And usually when it gets updated, it gets jumped up fairly high on the front. It does not look like it's been uploaded yet. So we shall see relatively soon. Or um, it's probably just recently updated and it hasn't jumped up yet. I am looking and I haven't seen anything, so it doesn't seem like it's been updated. But 
we're getting re- we're really getting into the end game on this, and it's kind of sad that because we're getting into the end game of Gotoba no Hanayome, you know, best girl. Um, we're getting into the end game of this because, spoiler, Furuhashi in the last uh, what two chapters ago was it? La- I think it was last chapter. It might have been last chapter. Basically, confirmed to herself that she was in love with our MC here, and that was good. That was a good, like, recognition of that for herself. And, yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed just everything that's been progressing. Like, I, I would say there is no official people out of the running, but for, like, if I had to pick one, I would kind of feel like Takamoto is out of the running, is out of the Yuga Bowl, as what the uh, us uh, fans have been calling it. And I kind of feel like Asami is out because Asami kind of has like she has her own goals and Naruki has his own goals and it kind of feels like those goals would not intertwine there's only two other people well three others if you mean Rizu kind of but the other two real big factors that are honestly standing out um is Yuigo kind of wants to be a teacher so that really ties in with Sensei Wants to be a teacher. Sensei is a teacher. Boom, there you go. But also, Furuhashi, I think... Not... not She really isn't first girl, first, first girl. I, is she, was she the first girl, really? I'm not entirely sure, but she is basically the poster girl. Out of everyone. Although, granted, Sensei has been taking up the majority of the uh, screen time. And I'm not complaining whatsoever. Um, but I believe... Um, Sui. Suyu. Suyui, the the mangaka, is uh is like he personally enjoys, um, and I think it, her, his favorite girl is Furuhashi, but the overwhelming fan favorite is actually Sensei. Both I believe I, it's for sure is in the West of uh, Sensei Rim Supreme. Don't know how much it is in the East, but I'm fairly certain that sensei is getting more love simply because sensei literally pops up in almost every single episode one way or the other there is not a single time where she's not in there i think the la- I think the last chapter you might have just had like a quick like little chibi version of her on the side as like oh kid was a sensei or something like that but i i'm trying to figure out how it's gonna happen so next year 2020 there's gonna be a lot of end games and i'm a little nervous because we only have four more weeks in this year and a lot can happen. I don't think it's going to. But the next, I'd say, two months, two, three months, where everything wraps up, ooh, it's going to be good. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the com- of the episode in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next, next time, which will be Thursday for Azure Lane. And then Friday, where I will be finishing up Uh uh, Rascal Does Not Dream of Girl Sent by the series, which I will eventually get to the movie, don't worry. Um, that will be harder to do, I feel like, because I feel like with the longer version of that, of the, of, of just the reaction might get hit. I'm not entirely sure, but we will see. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.